Welcome to Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science for this Monday, April 6, 2012. Our top story comes from the field of material science. Research from the University of Southern Mississippi has produced a new kind of self-healing plastic. Plastics have become so common due to their many desirable mechanical properties and the variety of types there are. However, one disadvantage is that many plastics can't be easily repaired once scratched or cracked. There are two main ways to make a self-healing plastic. The first involves embedding plastic with capsules. When the plastic is damaged, the capsules burst, releasing fluid that fills in to repair any scratches. So they developed a plastic with molecular bridges throughout the material. Once broken, various forms of energy make the molecules reform their shape. Damage to the plastic even causes a change in color because of the different shape the molecule bridges take when broken, perhaps prompting someone to shine an intense light on it. Although not biodegradable, it's more environmentally friendly than many plastics because its production is water-based rather than using more toxic chemicals. With so many potential applications, this and other regenerating materials will hopefully become common in the near future. We end with an update from the world of technology. A team at MIT has developed a camera that can see around corners. This technology is possible using ultra-short laser pulses and even faster high-speed cameras. Until now, these techniques have only been used on a small scale for the imaging of biological molecules. On a larger scale, these laser pulses are fired at a wall or other surface, scattering the light. Some of this light returns to the camera and, because the pulses are so short, the distance the light traveled can be measured. The light is bounced off several different spots, and the angle as well as return distance is measured. Collecting all this data using special algorithms allows for the construction of a rough 3D model of something not directly in the line of sight. Now, this technology has many potential applications, such as mapping out hazardous buildings for emergency workers, helping automated cars navigate, or even imagining tight areas using endoscopes. Also, as a special announcement, we have received some super sweet fan art from an artist known as G Money from JL Bait Studios coming out of Topeka, Kansas. We just wanted to take a moment to show it off and rub it in your face. If you want to see more of her stuff, click the link to the JL Bait Studios Facebook page in the description. Just so you know, all of her art is for sale in case you want to keep up with the cool kits, but she mostly deals locally. If you message G-Money on the studio page, though, I'm sure she'll work something out with you.